to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to be painting this wooden butterfly. Um, it was plain, it was made out of wood, and so it needed a little bit more of um, a shine. So that's why I'm going to be painting it. So here, let's take a closer look at the butterfly. It's made out of wood. It looks like a butterfly. Um, it has a stand. Um, yeah. So I want you guys to look at a sketch that I made of how I wanted the butterfly to look like. There's actually going to be a ton of changes as soon as I start painting. But basically what I wanted is most of the butterfly to be rainbow because butterflies are just so pretty and rainbows are pretty. So yeah. And then the uh, like the other parts are going to be pink and there's some black detailing. And then we have some snowflakes on the pink parts but as i said there's going to be a lot of changes so um you're gonna see a lot of changes but now let's start with the paint job and one two three let's paint yay so guys we have started the painting job um we already have a little bit of red on there because i forgot to turn on the video when i started painting so i didn't capture all of that in there but let's capture all of that orange in the video so i'm going as you guys saw in the sketchbook that i'm going for the rainbow look for the butterfly or most of the butterfly So now we just skipped all the way to purple, but as soon as I put the green on, it got a little bit of messy here. So I did do like a lot of coats um, for each color off camera. And I also blended a lot for the butterfly off camera as well. But now let's just start painting the other ones. So also in my sketchbook, um, we painted all the other parts pink. But later in the video, you guys are going to see that I did change all of that. Um, but for now, this is how it looks. It just looks like the butterfly got like a huge skin burn or something. It's so weird. But this is how we're going for. And yeah. parts of the butterfly were like super hard to paint because my paintbrush wouldn't fit in there and as you guys can see I'm trying to get my dotting tool in there but it won't work at all so then I just decided I would do a couple more coats after and it really didn't matter so it's really messy and now I'm just gonna go over and do a lot more coats of paint until I like so here is our butterfly so far. I'm using black to cover those little faint designs that the butterfly came with. Um, I could have just done a couple more coats of pink and then had my own designs on there, but I decided to keep the designs and use them. I would have used white to cover them, but I had no white because I used no. So I am using black now, so just watch me paint some of these little designs. <sighs> okay, so those little black designs actually took me a really long time to finish. But now I'm using all these beads that have come into the camera um, on my butterfly as decoration. I'm going to be putting the beads in the holes that the butterfly came with. I didn't really know what to do with them, so I decided that beads would be a nice uh, and sparkle to them. So we have some pearls in the front, and then we have hearts and more pearls are going to come. And then we also have these really cute pastel pink butterflies that are really nice. I love them. So yay, when you don't 
don't know what to do, decorate everything with beads. So I was thinking to change the middle part of the butterfly black because I just didn't like it how it looked with the pink. Um, so I changed it and now let's go ahead and add some little details. Okay, so since the black was a little plain, I decided to bring some pink into it by doing um, some pink hearts all over that. Um, I chose pink because this butterfly does have a little bit of pink in it, and only using black would have it not go together that well, and I actually think these pink hearts would make it look better. I don't know. Okay, so now just listen to this music because I have nothing else to talk about. Let's look on the butterfly. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And I was just head on taking the rest of the butterfly. Okay, guys. Um, so this is not the last thing we're going to paint on, but it is close to last. So keep on watching. Um, but I am painting the stand now, and it's going to be red. Oh, I got black on the red. Oh my God, no. I'm going to repaint that anyway. So I am painting this rainbow as I said. We're starting with the red and then we'll go in rainbow order which is orange and yellow and green and blue and purple. Um, yeah, uh, you might be saying that I forgot indigo but I just don't put indigo in the rainbows I because I just don't like to. and. Seven more colors, like, no, I, I, I'm, I can deal with six. So, I'm gonna go ahead and blend all of these colors together as well. But I think I'm gonna fast forward now up to purple. So, one, two, three, fast forward! So, yes, we have already our purple on. As you guys can see, I did a really not so good job of blending with the green and blue but that's okay so take a closer look and now let's paint the back of the butterfly which is going to be black i painted it black because i was too lazy to paint it rainbow okay guys so the final moment we have our final butterfly piece ready um the bottom is as you guys know rainbow the butterfly mostly is rainbow as well with a exception a few black pink and some pink parts. I also have a bunch of beads stuck up on there. Behind we know that it's black because I was too lazy to paint the whole thing rainbow again. Um, so that is the final product. Um, I hope you guys liked this video. Please make sure to subscribe and click that like thumbs up button so I know that you guys like this video. Also, make sure to share it with your friends and family. Thanks!